Hello everyone, I'm talking with Mr. Fitchell today, who has just won an inter tournament with Board Up. So, hello Mr. Fitchell. Hello. So, here's your deck list right in front of me, and I want to ask, why did you choose this deck? So, in the TCG, I play uh, Fuanderies, which sadly, one is not available in Master Duel, and two is significantly worse in the OCG due to how chaining from hand works. So, I chose the closest thing to Fuanderies, which is the other Verd deck, which is uh, Bird Up. Also, I've always wanted to play the deck. Last tool was an excuse. I see, and what do you think your good and bad matchups are with this deck? Bad matchups, the only thing that really springs to mind is Eldritch, because you really can't play through Skill Drain. Basically, all your effects require being on field in some capacity, so the Skill Drain mm. like, just completely screws you over. Other than that, you can play through a lot of interactions, so like, while a full drive on board is like pretty unbreakable, as it is for most decks, Anything less than that, if you have enough extenders, you can play through most things. So, yeah, other than Eldlit, going second is probably your worst enemy. Yeah, it really struggles to break boards. You don't have enough extension to play through, you know, a lot of negates. I see. That can be said for most first turn decks anyway, in this format, I think. Yeah, certainly. It's, it shares a lot of similarities with Trizu, which is, by most people's standards, the best deck in the format. It's very similar, has the same similar sort of matchup, made it a little bit worse, purely due to its going second capabilities. So if you want to build a better deck, I guess they'll try to, but if you like birds, and like doing combos, but that's definitely the more fun variant. Is there another reason why you chose this deck or something like Trizu then? Um, it was also pretty cheap. I remember looking at Trizu and Bird Up like when uh, Marsteel first came out and thinking they're both very similar, they're probably both going to be similar power level, and I just sort of went with Bird Up because birds. Uh, I think if you're looking back, Trizu was probably would have been a better choice, uh, so I have actually made Trizu now. But yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's, it's really good. It's a fun deck to learn. I do want to ask, you did have a matchup with Trizu in the inter tournament, I think. And so what do you think of the outcome of that match? How did you fare against the Trizu and how did you beat it? Um, so... I remember my match against Trizu. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, uh, you did win, so I, I assume win. you're there. Uh, well, I, I, okay, so no, I played it twice. So I played, I played the first round two, and I played them again in uh, the finals. So in round two, I remember losing. I think it was a fairly close match, a lot of back and forths. I'm pretty sure they bricked every hand. They ended on a very small board time. Like it was just dry and nothing else. But I'm pretty sure I misplayed in one of the games. In the final, again, a very close matchup. I think I just managed to scrape it out in the game three, just as sort of having won the coin toss and also going full combo effectively. It's, it, it's a very even matchup, just I think on average, prize you just wins on average just because it's a slightly more consistent deck. But yeah, no, they're, both, they're both very competent. Do you have anything unique with your list compared to other board up decks? I wouldn't say anything too unique. So the list I ran for the tournament was 42 cards, it was probably pretty unique. It was definitely, definitely not optimal. Just before the tournament started, I was debating with what flex cards I wanted to run. So whether I wanted to run Lightning Storm and Twin Twist for Eldritch matchups, or like Droplets and Call by the Grace for like uh, Breaking Boards and Counting Maxis, uh, respectively. In the end, I just sort of thought, uh, I'll just chuck everything in. So I had no idea what to expect. And it turns out at the end, there was one or two Eldritches in the entire tournament. So the background movement wasn't too important. Whereas Droplets was nuts and won me so many games, even if I only had one copy. Going ahead, like, uh, if you'd won this on ladder, I'd probably just cut the li both the Lightning Storms and the Twin Twist to play a second droplet that takes you to 40. I think that's what I'm currently running now. Um, other than that, the rest of the list is fairly standard. I'm running, I think, one less Swallow than normal. I think a lot of people run three Swallow, maybe two Swagtail. I just need the space. Some that's do around two Wagtails, I think. Yeah, it's it's like you don't really want to see any opening hand. It's like it's fine. It's only good with Wagtail, really. Otherwise, you'd rather just search it halfway through your combo and special it. Um, but yeah, I think when trimming, it's definitely you, you you can't go much more. You can't trim much harder than this. You can maybe trim the DD Crow, but I think DD Crow is quite nice. It's just when you're when you really have a lot of searches, it's a nice thing to grab at the end of your combo, uh, just for like going into turn two. Some people want more tankies, one, I think one's enough, like four Fractal, you're going you're gonna to see it most games. Other than that, yeah, list is pretty standard, I think. Alt is also a card that I don't necessarily see in every list, so... I suppose, I guess some people run Statue instead of Avian and Oath. While Statue was good, so you, so you run like Statue and like Rendezvous, right? So Statue to Soft Special Summons and Rendezvous, you'd send off Kit to protect, uh, protect Statue. 
Yeah, whereas with this you end up with a negate and a spell trap negate. And I really value the spell trap negate, so you don't end up losing to cards like Droplets or like uh, Dark Ruler evenly, any of those sort of cards. Yes, yeah, so that's why I really like Oath. Yeah. Whereas like what, what you know, while Statue's good, it's really easy. There's a lot of lines you can do with just Statue and Rendezvous. For example, if you open uh, just a Fractal, you can go Fractal, Send Kit, Send Nerval, Grab, anything. Normal, any uh, tr a try, normal the try, banish the mix simorg. Then you end the statue was pretty good. I think it's probably better than just an avian. And there are also lines where you do that and you also send um, rendezvous with uh, kit, which I think is also not too bad. But like, I think Oath is a higher ceiling. And yeah. when you're going full combo, you can just go really hard combo if you want Oath. I see, okay. Do you have anything else you want to add? I, I guess the only other thing I might add is um, that I don't want Appaloosa. Um, I'm running Harpy's Conductor instead in the extra deck and I don't know people who, who don't want half your conductors are insane like this card is so good for fixing bricky hands you know there are a lot of hands where you can banish two and make like a ferrogeet uh but then you obviously because ferrogeet yeah. isn't a uh, wing beast you can't go into simog yeah actually in the line I said earlier if you uh, if, if you're running half his conductor you can send fractal send a certain nerval grab kit summon kit make half his conductor then link into simorg and then uh, kit will send your uh, rendezvous if you're running that or just set up uh, for next turn again if you're not uh, but you know half his conductor is great and Appaloosa, i just never i just never seem to make it like if you're going full combo you can just make UD, uh, udf instead udf and uh, simorg i think it's much better than Apo a lot of times and it's just it, it decks are tight um otherwise Thanks. Um, if there isn't anything else you want to add further, then should we go into some gameplay and watch your finals match? So, here's a recording draw for the finals match against Hero. The Hero players is going to draw first in this match, and unfortunately their hand is not looking too great. For that reason, they're going to set two droplets and pass the turn. Cool, yeah, so we've opened a uh, pretty gas here. We have um, basically every card we could possibly want, so we're just going to just try and spam the board and do a full combo. Uh, they have droplets, so not great. We still have Canary to get uh, Sparrow back, but um, Ocean is not trivial here. I I was pretty tired at this point in the tournament, so I didn't think too hard into it. I'm just going to make UDF and uh, on some blue. Um, there's probably a line here where you can kill them, but like set set two pass ain't looking too good. So yeah, go full combo, Starling, Starling into Starling, etc. Make UDF um, and on some blue, and then. Um, yeah, make, make, make it uh, UDF. And then we can just use the normal sum we haven't used yet to make um, on some blue. And this is a perfectly fine board, like nothing exciting, but we have Maxi in hand, we have Dikiko, we have set up the next thing with Bird Call. Um, yeah, like if you want to think through the line and find yourself, uh, uh, OTK, they can do, but we can just negate what we do here. Yeah, so there's some administrators, we're going to try and negate here. Um, they have Mass Change, which will. Um, at least get, uh, we'll at least get something out of the straight turn. They're gonna maxi, um, and they're gonna droplet the Ancient Blue in preparation for the uh, Mass Change lobby. Um, so we're not gonna be able to bounce it. But yeah, they can't make too much here. So I think they're gonna attempt to use um, Blast. Um, I activate Ancient Blue just to trigger Nerval's effect. Um, However, here I, I think they're going to try and go to battle with UDF uh, after all this resolves. Not realizing that UDF does, in fact, not die to battle. And yeah, we have won the game. Uh, even, yeah, even through Droplet on your on your turn, um, when you open the gas, you open the nuts, you can like go pretty hard. And that's it for our talk. Let me know what you think of the deck list. I know the future match was not the best, but it was the only match I managed to record at the time. The finals were hours into the tournament and I imagine we were all tired. Regardless, I hope you have enjoyed the video and do let me know if you would like to see me cover more events like this. I have also been a part of a stream recently and I could upload some highlights of that stream if you wanted to see it. Subscribe to support the channel, thank you so much for watching this far and I'll see you in another video.